Yeah. Hey, this is Professor. Oh, uh oh, it's time to address our sponsors. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Professor Perfe Perez from Saddleback College, where we offer many opportunities to students of all ages. If you want, you can take a ceramics class, you can take an English class, you can take a, a computer class, but if you ask Professor Perez, myself, you should take a math class. Math is good for you. It does you good. Anyway, come to Saddleback College and enjoy our classrooms of English, math, science, any subject you want. We'll see you there soon. Let's get back to work now, kids. Anyway, uh, let's bring up Charlie. Remember, Charlie's our volunteer for the semester here. He'll be working. He's been working really hard, so we'll check up on him. See if he's asleep this time. Let's go. Uh, he's ready to go. Very good, Charlie. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some subtraction today. And again, we're going to do it on the number line. Okay. So let's bring up our first problem. We're ready to get to work. We're going to do this first problem. 8 subtract 6. Okay, Charlie. This time we're doing subtraction. Now, when you do addition, Charlie, which way do you move? To the right. That's right. To the right. Now, this time we're going to do subtraction. So we're not going to move to the right. We're going to move to the left. To the left. Very good, Charlie. Okay, so let's go back to our first problem here. 8 subtract 6. Charlie, where do you start? 8. That's right. And you move which way? To the left. Very good. How far? 6. You're getting it, Charlie. And you, where do you end up at? Two. That's good. So be sure you record these problems in your workbook. Remember, you people that are over at the high school and are taking this class at home and in other countries yeah. there, I can check up on you. You will. My prompter here. And the phone. You're anyway, wrong. we'll go on here. The next problem you're here. Wrong. Eight subtract ten. Okay, we're going to do this problem here. Now, Charlie, you look at this problem here. Look at your number line. Okay, now think about where you're starting. And you're moving which way? To the left. Okay. Now, when you subtract 10, Charlie, what can you tell me? You look at the number line there. What's going to happen when you go start at 8 and move 10 to the left? You pass the 0. Okay, you're going to pass the 0. So, what does it mean when you pass the 0 on the number line? What is on that side of the 0? The negative numbers. Okay. Those are the negative numbers. Now, um, some people refer to the, these as the opposite of numbers, but we'll just simply call them the negative numbers. So, we're going to keep in, in, in tune with our addition, where addition we move right. This time we're moving to the left because we're doing subtraction. Okay, so let's talk about this first problem. 8 subtract 10. Okay, Charlie, we're at 8, and you're going to move left how far? 10. Okay, are you going to jump all at once? No. Okay. Charlie's going to move 8 first. Okay, so go ahead, Charlie. You move 8, and you arrive where? At zero. Very good, Charlie. You arrive at 0. So, why did you like to... Why do you think that you felt comfortable moving to 0? Because it's in the middle. Okay, so people will have different, different reasons for doing, for doing that, going to 0 first. Okay, but Charlie, how many more do you have to go still? You, you, you have to go left 10. You start at 8. You moved eight left, and now you have how many more? Two. That's good. So you end up where? At negative two. That's good, Charlie. So go ahead and record your answer. Negative two. And so we do get a negative answer. Now, again, there's no right or wrong way to do this problem. Some of you could just look at eight and realize, yes, jump right over ten and end up at negative two. But Charlie works in steps. That's good. After you do enough of these problems, you develop a, a sense of... Uh, uh, a pattern that will work for you. So let's go again. Next problem here. This time we're starting at negative 3. Oh. And we're going to subtract 4. Okay. So Charlie, where do we start? Negative okay, 3. Okay, so negative 3 this time is right over there. Very good. And we're going to move which way, Charlie? To the left. That's right, to the left. We go. And how far? 4. Very good. Okay, so where do you end up, Charlie? Negative 7. That's good. So negative 7 is the correct answer. Go ahead and record that in your workbook. Now, another problem here. This time, we're doing 0 subtract 5. Okay, Charlie, where are where is 0 on this number line? Right in the middle. That's, all, that's right in the middle. Sometimes we refer to 0 as being right in the middle of the number line. Okay. Now, from 0, you're going to move which way? To the left. That's right. And you move 5. five. And so where do you end up at? Negative 5. That's correct. At negative 5. 
Okay, child, we've got one more problem here. We're going to start at 10. So on this number line, we're over here at the 10. Oh, over there at the 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, Charlie. So at that 10, you're going to move which way? From there, you're going to move left. How far? Okay, this is a long move, right? Okay, go ahead and hold your hands up. Ready? Here we go. All right, we're there. We're there at negative 10. So that is your answer there. So now subtraction, again, is just the same thing as addition, but with subtraction, we're moving left on the number line. Now, you have a lot of problems in your workbook on this section. So we put in some subtraction problems, and then we also put in some addition problems so you can also review your addition at the same time. So be sure you practice these and think about, you know, the number line and how you think. Develop a, 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 uh, a process that works for you. Because, again, there's no right or wrong way to do these problems. But there is only one answer to these, so, and you need to get there. So anyway, until then, we'll see you next time.